so to start off with i'm just filling this shape in with the base color and the flow of the brush is nine percent and the opacity of the brush is 63 percent and i'm just going to use this brush all along the tutorial and i'm just rubbing off the excess part now you want to create a new layer just above it and you can hide the base layer where the structure or the shape for the hair was you can just totally hide it now what i'm doing is i'm just decreasing the size of the brush i'm using the similar brush now i'm adding these hair like strokes now mind you i'm using the same color it just appears darker because i'm just going over the already filled shape because of the flow of the brush is so low so that is why it is appearing darker and that is the reason why i like to have my flow turned down to up to nine percent so that's what i'm doing so you have to basically add some um, thicker hair strands and also some of them should be thinner so yeah that is how you're gonna do it and you also need to add some really thin hair um, strands just on the outside part of the hair just to kind of blend it in and so that it doesn't look that harsh so that's what i'm doing here i went from very thick to very thin hair strokes just over that base layer Now, as you guys can see, I'm adding these hair strands just outside the whole hair chunk. Now, um, obviously, it depends on the type of hairstyle you're painting. Just add these little hair strands just outside of it so that you can, so that just to make it look more blended and not too harsh, especially um, the outer parts of it. We don't want it to look stiff at all so yeah just add some thicker hair strands and just add some thinner hair strands as you did um, inside of that hair chunk i hope that makes sense now just create a new layer and pick up a darker color of the base color and using the similar brush and the similar flow and opacity i am adding this darker looking hair strands just over it now i know these are not that visible but um yeah they are still there you can still see them so that's what you need to do in the next step and if you want you can increase the flow of the brush if you want them to look more prominent but i'd suggest having the flow turned down um, to the very low percentage so that's what i'm doing right here now once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to pick up this tool and uh, you want to just go over um, these hair strands so that they do not look harsh in any sense so now i'm creating a new layer again and changing the layer mode to linear dodge and i am using this color which is lighter than the base color and i am adding these hair strokes again just over um, the whole thing that we did before in the three layers now again just create a new layer now this time what you want to do is you want to pick the same color and add um, thinner hair strands as compared to the one we did in the previous layer also i'm not adding linear dodge as layer mode in this layer and i'm using it as just a normal layer and um yeah i'm using the similar color but i have increased the flow a little bit just a little bit and again i'm using this tool to kind of go over those hair strands and kind of make them look more softer and not harsh and also i'm just decreasing the opacity of this layer because i don't want them to look that prominent now i'm doing the same step i'm, I'm going over those hair strands with this tool with the smoothening tool and I'm just going over those hair strands again so that they do not look harsh at all so that's what i'm doing right here and also might um, decrease the opacity a little bit like that and now i'm creating a new layer again and changing the layer mode to linear dodge and i'm using this lighter color again that i just used to create those hair strands and i'm using this color now to create 
highlights on the hair so um, what i'm doing here is i'm just randomly adding these little highlights but in the direction of the hair now you have to keep this in mind you have to add these highlights in the direction of the hair i'm using this smoothing tool and also making sure that the size of the brush is really really small so that we can blend these little highlights in the form of a hair strand so uh, that's one thing you should keep in mind and also take your time with it um, also make sure that the strength of this brush is minimum because we don't want to make these highlights disappear so just make sure that the strength of the brush is minimum and then again as you guys can see i am blending these highlights out in the hair strand form so that's what you need to do now once i am happy with that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to decrease the opacity of the layer just a little bit because i think right now they look a lot more prominent and i don't want them to look like that at all so i have just decreased opacity just a bit and also the layers underneath it i've just decreased the opacity of them as well now what i'm doing is i am using the similar color on the similar layer where we created the highlights and this time i have increased the flow of the brush and i'm adding these little dots over those blended highlights just to make it look more um i don't know more sparkly i guess i don't know more shiny just to give the hair the whole hair a bit of shine so according to the hair strand the size of the hair strand just add a little dot over that and you don't really have to blend it out at all now what you want to do is you want to create a new layer just between the base layer and the layer where we created the initial hair strand thing and what you want to do is you want to pick up a um, darker color than the base color and also you can play around with the flow of the brush or you can just use the exact same setting for the flow as i'm using right here for this step and basically what i'm doing is i'm adding some um, shadows um, just here and there where i think there should be some shadows and that's what i'm doing here and also playing around with the size of the brush again so that i can see what looks the best this is the last step for the whole process you can skip the step if you want to but i like to do it just to you know give some life to the whole hair chunk so that's what i'm doing here and yeah that's basically it and also if you think that you need to blend these out you can always go ahead and pick that smoothing tool up and go over these shadows just to make sure that they do not look harsh at all then yeah you can just always go ahead and use that tool as i'm using right here but just make sure that you are you know using it with minimum strength so that's about it and so yeah that is it for today's tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and if you do create something out of my tutorials then tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description box other than that i will see you guys the next time